Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's actually been quite a long time since I did my last luxury handbag dupes video. I believe the last one I did was a Fendi dupes video and that was like three months ago. So I figured today I would do another one and this one is going to be focused on dupes or affordable alternatives to Gucci handbags. And if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos on my channel, I do have an entire playlist where I go through brand by brand and talk about some dupes for their most popular handbags. I'll leave a link to the playlist up here if you're interested. So in this video, I'm not going to be talking about bags that are essentially direct copies of Gucci bags. Rather, it'll be bags that are similar looking and definitely much more affordable than Gucci. Gucci is not one of the most expensive ones that I've covered in my other similar videos, but still you can find some bags from contemporary designers that cost significantly less than Gucci. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Now the first bag I want to talk about from Gucci is their Dionysus bag and it's actually my personal favorite from the brand. I really like how there is this kind of like contrast in color because there is this extra piece that hangs down from the inside of the bag. So on the corners of the flap you can kind of see these triangular pieces that's usually a different texture, a different material, and a different color. And I really like that bit of contrast to the bag, especially on their monogram one, because I'm usually not a big fan of monogram style bags. And the Gucci monogram is not a favorite of mine in any way whatsoever, but because they did have that little bit of contrast, it actually made me like the bag a lot more. And I also really like that motif or logo they have on the flap too. I actually thought that it was a type of snake at first, but when I was doing research for this video recently, I learned that it's actually a tiger. So that was kind of new information to me. And at the same time that I learned that, I was kind of browsing the Gucci website and they had just released their collection for the upcoming Lunar New Year, which is going to be the Year of the Tiger. And I remember seeing the collection and the pieces they had for it. And yeah, I was not a fan of it. I kind of thought it was a little gimmicky and tacky. Well, of course, these kind of collections are a little bit gimmicky and like a cash grab. But personally, I kind of feel like they should have played with that Dionysus theme a little bit more, maybe introduce that kind of logo onto different bags. Anyways, that was a little bit of a tangent. So yeah, I do really like this bag. And a few years ago, I had actually considered buying it, except that when I went into the Gucci boutique to take a look at it, because I'd never seen it in real life before, I was essentially ignored in that boutique. So I did not have a good experience in there whatsoever. So I basically just left and yeah, that kind of turned me off from buying the bag. And I never really revisited it until recently when I was doing research into this bag. And yeah, I was looking up the prices. It's pretty expensive, I have to say. Even their super mini size is over 900 US dollars. So the dupe that I want to share is actually under $400 even for their like biggest style, which is like a satchel style with a top handle. So this bag is their Greenwich bag from Michael Kors and it is much more affordable and it has all of the same features. It has that same kind of like contrasting detail that I like on the Dionysus bag. And as I mentioned, even the satchel style is under $400 and they do have various sizes and shapes. So definitely check this out if you're interested in the Dionysus bag, but you don't want to spend that amount of money on it. Next up is the Gucci Jackie bag, which is basically like an open top hobo style shoulder bag that you can also wear like longer as a crossbody bag if you wanted to. And this style of bag is actually quite popular nowadays. That kind of crescent moon um, hobo style shoulder bag is very popular and not only have a lot of luxury designers been doing a similar style, but more affordable contemporary designers also have too. So it definitely fits in into this video. So the Gucci Jackie bag has three sizes. And unfortunately for the dupes, I could only find a dupe for their middle size, which is the small size, but I do feel like that is their most popular one anyways. So the mini size starts at a price of 1800 US dollars. The small starts at 2150 and then their medium size is $2,400 and up. And what's great is that like all of Gucci's other bags, 
This bag, you can find it in so many varieties of prints and patterns and also materials. So I do have two dupes that I want to share for this Jackie bag. The first one is the cheaper of the two and it is from Kate Spade and it is their penny bag, which is of course very similar in shape. I was looking at the dimensions of the penny bag compared to the small Jackie bag from Gucci. And I would say that the Kate Spade bag, judging from the dimensions, is just a little bit taller, but yeah, it's not a big difference whatsoever. And when it's worn, it kind of just looks about the same. It's like the same style of bag. So this Kate Spade bag comes in both leather versions or they do have kind of like a low gold version too. It doesn't really have the same type of look as like the Gucci monogram would. I would say that overall Kate Spade as a brand does lean a little bit more girly than Gucci does but still I think this is a great dupe and it's around $300 for the different versions some are a little bit less some are a little bit more but yeah like I mentioned this is much more affordable than the Gucci Jackie bag and the second bag that I want to talk about is a little bit more expensive at around 448 US dollars and it is the Tory Burch Miller shoulder bag. So this bag only comes in leather versions but a lot of the colors that they offer are very similar to the leather colors that Gucci offers and overall I do think that Tory Burch and Gucci share similar vibes. Actually, later in this video, I will be sharing another Gucci dupe that is from Tory Burch. So anyways, back to the Jackie bag. I think that both of these dupes from Tory Burch as well as Kate Spade are great alternatives. Both of them do come with the option to shoulder carry it or wear it longer as a crossbody bag. And the thing with these bags is that the way that you lengthen the strap to make it crossbody doesn't require hanging like a whole separate chain or strap to the bag. It's just lengthening the strap that is already on there. So yeah, I think that is actually great because sometimes I'm not a big fan of having too many different straps dangling from my bag if I won't be using that strap anyways. Now I can't do a Gucci dupes video without mentioning their Marmon line and a few years back this was so popular. I feel like everyone on social media either had one of the Marmont bags or the belt or actually a lot of people had both in varying sizes and colors. Nowadays, I don't think it is anywhere near as popular on social media, but Gucci still does seem to be releasing more of these bags anyways. In person, like in real life, I do still see people carrying these bags, so it's not completely obsolete whatsoever. But because it's not as trendy as it once was, maybe it's worth it to buy a dupe instead. So the Mormont bag dupes that I want to talk about is specifically for two styles. One is like their shoulder bag style with the double chains, and the other one is kind of like their top handle style. And both of these dupes is also from the same line of handbags and it's from a brand called Pinko. Now Pinko seems to only have one line of handbags and it is their love bag. So within this range, there are two styles that look very similar to the Mormont bags that I just mentioned. And the names for these bags are actually very convoluted so I'm just going to read them for you from my phone. So the top handle style is called the love bag top handle v quilt. And then the shoulder bag is called the Lady Love Bag Puff V Quilt. They range in price from 395 to 495 US dollars. And I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but yes, they are much more affordable compared to the Gucci Marmont bags. And these bags do share a lot of the same features with the Gucci Marmont bags. So for example, it does have a very similar type of quilting as well as what I like to call the kind of tongue looking detail on the flap of the bag. And the most similar feature is, you know how on the Marmont bags on the back, you do have this kind of hidden heart quilting on it. Well, on the Pinko bags, you don't have like a quilted heart on the back, but there are two quilted birds on it, which is kind of like a unique feature to Pinko bags. And I actually think that is quite cute. Now the Gucci horse bit shoulder bag is not a super unique style, nor is it a super unique shape. I mean, so many other luxury designer brands have done very similar bags. So for example, there's the Dior 30 Montan bag or the Celine Classic Box bag. And I have talked about those bags as well as dupes for those bags in my previous videos. But the one thing that I can pinpoint that is different about the Gucci horse bit shoulder bag as compared to those other ones that I just mentioned, 
is this bag actually has the strap of the bag attached on the sides instead of across the top. So for example, with the 30 Montan bag, the strap goes across the top of the bag on the outside. And then the Celine Classic Box bag has a very similar type of thing, except the strap goes across the top on the inside of the bag. So when looking for a dupe for this bag, I decided to look for something that also had the straps attached to the sides of the bag. And the Gucci Horsefit shoulder bag does come in two sizes. So strangely enough, there's the mini and small size, which as I saw on their website, do cost the exact same amount of money. Except the thing is when you get the mini size, you do get an extra strap with it. So yeah, I guess that's how they justify charging you the same amount for the smaller size as the bigger size because they do give you an extra thicker kind of like canvas strap. Now the dupe that I found actually comes in three sizes and it is the APC Grace bag. Now this bag is a little bit strange because I looked on so many different websites and I can't really give you like definitive pricing for the three sizes. Really the prices vary by so much. So in general, it ranges from about 550 US dollars to about 850. So yeah, definitely if you're thinking of buying this bag, do your research, look at different reliable websites, of course, and find a place where you can get it for the best deal. And I would say that the two sizes of the horse fit bag from Gucci kind of sit in between the three sizes from APC. So yeah, the sizes are not exactly identical, but they are quite similar. And the only difference about the APC bag is it doesn't seem like the strap gets quite as short as the Gucci horse fit bag does. So while you're able to wear it comfortably crossbody, it doesn't turn into quite as short of a shoulder bag as the horse fit bag does. Yet another bag that Gucci brought back from their archives is the Diana bag. So this bag is a top handle style, I would say like a tote bag with two top handles that are made out of bamboo. And these bamboo handles is actually a very unique feature to Gucci. In a little bit, I will talk about some more affordable alternatives that also have bamboo handles. But for now, I want to focus specifically on kind of like shape of the bag instead of that bamboo feature specifically so this bag also comes with these bands that you can put around the bamboo handles and in my research i actually learned that that's actually to keep the bamboo handles in that kind of curved shape because bamboo handles do tend to kind of get warped a little bit over time so that was an interesting kind of detail that I learned. So the dupe that I found for this bag actually doesn't have the bamboo handles, but I wanted to focus on this dupe because from the side profile specifically, and also the front, but specifically the side, it actually looks so similar, especially when the Diana bag is closed. And the bag that I'm talking about is the Strathberry tote bag, which does come in various sizes. And I've owned the nano size of this bag in the past, and I really did like it. The only reason that I ended up selling it was because it was in gold hardware, and it did also have a chain shoulder strap. So it was quite a lot of gold hardware, and I just personally prefer silver hardware. Aside from that, I really did like the bag, and also I thought it was really good quality. So I definitely would recommend this bag based on personal experience. So it's not quite like the Gucci Diana bag. So for example, I already mentioned that it doesn't have the bamboo handles and also it does only have one single top handle but similar to how Gucci has those bands that go around the handle the Strathberry tote bag has something similar it's not completely identical but the Strathberry bag does have this kind of bar that you have to fold over the top handle so that bar in my opinion looks kind of like the bands on the Gucci Diana bag and like I mentioned the shape of these bags is just really similar so I wanted to mention this as a dupe so as I mentioned, Gucci is very well known for using bamboo on their bags, whether it's for the top handles or just as little features on the bags in general. So I did want to look for some dupes for Gucci bamboo bags in general. A lot of the kind of 
dupes that I found are not directly the same type of shape or style as the Gucci versions, but I still wanted to mention them anyways in case you're looking for something that is a little bit different from your all leather handbags but don't want to spend Gucci money on it. So I'm going to mention general brands instead of specific styles because the ones that I will be mentioning do have a few different bags within their line that do have bamboo details on it. So the first one I want to mention is called Gaia. So they have a few of them that do have these bamboo details on it. They're the brand that a few years back they had the, I believe it's called the Art Bag, which is kind of like a summer bag that is completely made out of bamboo. But aside from that, they do have a few pieces that have, you know, just like small bamboo features on it, but isn't completely made out of bamboo. And then I also wanted to mention this company that's called Murda. So they kind of serve as a sort of marketplace for different designers to list their bags on. And there's a few styles on there that do also have bamboo details. And if we're talking about styles from contemporary designers that look similar to Gucci bags, then on Murda, there is this one bag that looks very similar to the Gucci bamboo. I believe the year is 1947. It looks very similar to the Gucci Bamboo 1947 top handle bag. So yeah, I just wanted to mention these options and definitely check out the websites. I'll leave them linked in the description box down below so you can take a look at the various bamboo bags that are available. To finish off this video, I wanted to talk about one last collection of handbags at Gucci and it is the Aphidia line. So I wanted to mention this entire range of handbags instead of any specific one because the dupes that I found are also from an entire collection within Tory Burch and it is their T monogram line. So not all of these bags between Gucci as well as Tory Burch are one-to-one -one matches. There are some that are really quite similar. But I would say in general, it's kind of like the details and the general vibe of these collections that are very similar. So both collections have this kind of vintage feel to them. Both of them are in a monogram style and even the kind of like quilted pattern on the monogram design looks very similar. The colors look very similar. The placement of the logos look very similar too. And yeah, just like the little leather details and everything, all very similar so definitely check out the Tory Burch T monogram collection if you don't really want to pay that much money for canvas so that is it for this Gucci dupes video and I think this is my most comprehensive one yet so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think of these bags that I mentioned both the Gucci ones as well as the dupes that I mentioned which is your personal favorite and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing for lots more content on luxury and fashion coming in the future and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next so I'll see you very soon. Bye for now!